Right, before you dislike this video, because you think I'm about to slate your favourite YouTuber off, I'm not. Just stick around and hear me out. Now, before I get into the reasons why, please note that I am a huge golf YouTuber fan. Have been since they all started on the platform, and I have took so much knowledge from learning, from the facts, and how they teach. It was what has inspired me to do my channel as well. I just want to get some points across that I have learned over the years of watching and something that you can probably take away from this as well. Stay tuned. Now, one of the things we are all guilty of is when we have something going wrong with our swings, i.e. a slice. Say we have a slice and we are thinking, oh my god, how am I going to get rid of this? First thing we do nowadays is we'll go to YouTube, we'll type it in, how to get rid of a slice, bang, watch about five videos and think, right, this is the answer to my fix. Well, in some ways, yes, that is right, but then in other ways, it isn't. And there's a lot of things that create a slice or any problem of any shot that we're doing wrong, i.e. the slice in this occasion. Um, if you're going onto videos and thinking, right, I'm gonna have a look at this video and they're saying, right, it's because you're doing this wrong or because you're doing this wrong, change this, change that. You are now gonna take that away thinking that is what you're doing wrong when it might not be. So you're creating a new problem. Right, so after you've given yourself the diagnostic, uh, right, this is the way I'm going to fix it. You'll take that to the range, not putting into consideration of your alignment, your grip, your shoulder angle, your hips, just so many things that could go wrong and you have now decided that this one thing is the fix because you've seen it on a YouTube, one of your favourite YouTubers and they've said right, this is the way it's going to do. You haven't seen a pro, they don't know what your swing looks like, so you're just taking this all on board by yourself. So this leads to so many problems because then you're just going to be practicing this problem whilst that you haven't got, whilst having this other problem that you're not even fixing. So basically you've got this problem, it's going to affect your goal swing, you're putting another problem on top of it and there's so much things can go wrong with that and like, I am guilty of that. Like I love watching videos and then thinking, oh, I'm going to try that and I will, I'll go away, but I'll make sure it's something that I've actually got wrong. Now, if you're subscribed to a golf YouTuber, you'll know that they pump out four, or five videos a week, and some of them are educational ones. So, if you're watching every single one of them and thinking, "Oh, I do that," well, actually, I think I do that too. Oh, I think I do that. You are going to create a list of problems, and you that you haven't even got, you, because they might say, "Oh, if you tend to hit the ball to the left on these sort of shots, it might be because of this." Just no. Ignore it, you don't know that's the problem. If you have got a serious enough problem, go see your pro, ask them to um, give you the diagnostic of what is actually wrong with your uh, swing, then go away and look for videos and drills and stuff that can improve your golf swing that way. But don't go away and think, right, oh, actually, I do think I have a bit of a high fade when I play a punchy eight iron under a tree, under the dog and through the bridge. You know what I'm saying? That I am talking to you, like, me to you on this. I have done this for two, three years, the whole time I have been watching these videos, trying to teach myself, trying to think, oh, time was always the takeaway. I'd watch thousands of videos on the takeaway, the backswing. Thousands. And for oh, I'll try this. And there's thousands of different ways. There was one where I was taking your hands this way, bend your wrist earlier, do this, do that. And I fried my brain. And even when it got to the point I had to stop playing in competitions because I just wanted confident enough. I put my swing into such bad rhythm because I would be overthinking every shot by going, right, do this, do that, go back, or oh, right, and hit. <laughs> and there's absolutely no chance you're going to hit a ball that way. I had one lesson the other day, one lesson, and I learnt more in that one lesson about my golf swing than I had watching thousands of my own videos of myself and my swing and trying to fix my uh, problems with all these different advi advice from YouTubers. Like, don't get me wrong, they have got fantastic advice and they are all are professionals at what they do, but they even say in their videos, they don't know what your swing is like. These are only tips and they always, always, always say, go see a pro. Their videos are there for advice. <laughs> so before watching 
that video onto how to fix that snap hook or how to fix that yip or how to fix that slice, go see your pro, get a couple of videos of your swing, show him or show one of these online coaches that you watch on YouTube, show them, then they'll give you some advice. Don't take the advice on yourself, it's the worst thing you can do, you probably don't know what you're doing, get some advice, it's so much better looking like getting someone to look at your swing than you looking at it yourself. It's important to look at your swing and to record your swing and make sure you are making the right changes, but make sure you're doing the right changes with the right drills and actually fixing the problem that you know you have rather than creating a new one. I hope you can take something away from this video about this. I'm not slating any YouTuber in whatsoever. They are amazing what they do. They know you know they are. But just make sure that you are fixing a problem you actually have rather than fixing a problem you think you might have and therefore creating a new problem. This is just a quick video because I am such a sucker for this and it's only lately that I've not stopped watching the YouTube videos of advice on like swing on how to videos. I love them ones but I've stopped taking the knowledge in thinking I have that problem. I only watch a video now and take the knowledge in if I have that problem, like mine is always working on backswing, so I'll watch videos on backswing, take that to my pro, ask them if I should be doing that and if it works for me, and I'll even take them to the range and just feel if it might feel comfortable. Try them, but don't take the knowledge on board thinking that you have that problem. Okay, that is me, that is my little run. Just wanted to make this quick video because it is absolutely snowing a gale out there. and I'm getting used to these little talking videos, I kind of like them, so if you did take some from this video, please give a like. If anything you think in the comments, let me down below. Uh, all the social media and ostrich golf stuff is down below. The winner was announced on Facebook the other day for the ostrich golf giveaway. It went to, I probably shouldn't say his name, but he got an orange bag and is sending it out to France. So if you don't live in England, you can still enter these competitions. Um, yeah, thank you for the support. The channel's doing really well at the moment, so more videos to come outside when the weather is more clear. Okay, see you next video. Yeah, I'm so rich, 20 baby, yeah, but they didn't let me last year, yeah.